So today on One Take, we're taking a look at the GNAN. This is a relatively new ship, and one where I did not enjoy the grind at all. It's a tier 10 light cruiser with a lot of torpedoes and a torpedo reload booster. They're deep waters, of course, so we're not gonna hit DDs with them. And we have destroyer caliber guns with a smoke screen. So this is a very light cruiser that's good at stopping pushes. That's really what this ship is very, very strong with. And depending on how things go here, of course, with one take, we're just jumping into a game, recording and putting it up on YouTube so you can kind of see exactly how the ship performs in a standard game, right? No cherry picking matches here. But earlier this week, I did upload a really awesome GNAN game actually on the same map here, just in Airship Escort. Of course, in that game mode, it's really nice having that uh, predictable path for people to follow, and then you can send your torps at them. Here, I think most people would consider going for this island, just to talk about my initial positioning here for a second. Uh, it's very easy to want to go towards islands, but when you have a smoke, you can almost play open water positions. Um, a little bit more broadside here than I'd want to be. But hey, we'll dump some torps in. And it's a druid here. Okay, so that's a little scary. Um, but we don't really have much to worry about, honestly. We'll just pop our smoke. smoke generator and uh, we don't have a lot of support here is the thing that we might have to be a little concerned about. But we're trying to get ourselves in positions where we can stop pushes, right? The enemy team wants to push in. Sure, they can try. But uh, we're going to do a good job of stalling them out. So unfortunately, we don't keep uh, eye contact or any eyes on the druid here. So we're just going to give up ground here bit by bit. Uh, all right. Smoke screen set. Sure, I'll take a few free hit there. Um, D DD caliber guns here. So even though we have a decent reload, they're not going to be doing the most damage. That's kind of something that I've noticed while playing this ship. One of the downsides, I guess when I was initially playing it and its previous tiers is you're gonna lack on uh, HE DPM and you're gonna lack on gun range too. To get reload mod here, which I am running, we only have 14 and a half kilometers of range. And then if you do take reload, or sorry, range mod, suddenly your reload's lacking and you have insane, uh, pretty insane shell arcs. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about this uh, range and trying to, I don't know, do a little bit of stuff. Is that, was I spotted? No, he just opened up blind. Okay. He got impatient. Fair enough. We'll dump some torps there. See what happens. Um, there's not a lot here, though, for the enemy team, right? We do excel at stalling pushes. We don't do a great job of pushing in. We only have 35,000 HP. And we do have some weird armor plating. But it's not enough to really push in. So we're going to maybe wait for this GK. Um, notice our smoke is just running out here. And our smoke is almost available again. Less than 30 seconds. So that's one of the powerful things about the Pan-Asia smokes is you actually have pretty decent cooldown, I would say. Um, that's one of the nice things here. You don't have to wait a long time in between your smokes. And they do last longer than the, what, the UKDD smokes. Those are also pretty quick. Um, I'm going to send some more torps here. Yeah, we do get a hit there on the, uh, the cruiser here. So that's nice. And do I push in a little bit more here? We could. It's potential for the GK to pop out here. Torpedoes, direct front. Torps coming in. All right, though. It's actually a lot here. So, yeah, I will smoke up. And we'll send these in here. I think the GK shot at me from over here or something like that. Um, so we do have to be a little careful of that. Get some incapacitation, start some fires, all very nice. Yeah, they do have a GK here. All right. Looks like we'll finish off this cruiser with a torp. Very nice. Um, we have a lot of torps to send out. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, something you should be aware of, too, is you only have two turrets on the back. This isn't a situation where you have three up front, three in the back. Something I was kind of thinking we would have, and yet uh, we definitely do not. So, 
something to think about when you're thinking about the DPM here. You do have to get value out of these Torps. That is how you're going to have good to really, really strong games. But if you're just focusing on your main guns, it's going to be a little rough. Um, if you're thinking about grinding this line and you haven't really played light cruisers all that much before, I think going for the Worcester, for example, would be a great light cruiser to play um, before you really get into this ship. This one's a little bit harder to play. Less battle impact, you don't have that radar. It's, even though Worcester doesn't have a smoke to hide itself with, I think it's just a better ship overall for the light cruiser class. Uh, I'm not really interested in shooting right now. Something you're gonna have to use is your concealment to push up with. So 9.8 kilometer detect allows us to kind of take our time here. Um, the enemy team should be losing at A, I think. Although I guess it could go either way considering how aggressive we're being. I don't think those torps uh, reach by the way. They're only 13 and a half kilometers. But you notice waiting for our smoke to come back up. All right, it's good things. There's a Cleveland here. So let's keep that in mind as well. Um, I don't know how aggressive he's going to be, but it doesn't actually hurt to launch these torps here. And then I don't know how long this smoke is going to last. It's probably almost out. Oh, 50 seconds. All right. Well, let's use it to farm a little bit. And I'm getting ready to kite away. That's the other thing is we're trying to stall the enemy team here. This is actually a great example in random battles of the enemy team pushing on the flank that I actually am on. That certainly does not always happen. <laughs> uh, Torps coming in here. We don't have a Hydro, so that's a little spooky. Trying to do superstructure as much as we can. All right, this smoke is starting to run out. We'll send these here. And you know what? Let's stay. Let's stay. Start our own. Move at quarter speed. If they push out, they push out. All right, so there's the Cleveland. I don't know if I'm gonna have an angle on him. If I do, I will switch to him. It's important we deal with him. Might actually smash this cruiser here. We got a fire on something, that's always nice. Let's see, how are our torps? Might get one. That's pretty good. Good shot. I think he's spotted. That's a permafire. We have to consider our smoke fire here. Try some AP. Alrighty, um, definitely concerned about this Colbert, I ain't gonna lie to you. Minnesota's there. We do have some armor, let's keep that in mind. Just a tiny bit of it though. 30 seconds till our smoke. Definitely gonna take some pain here. All right, we got the Colbert. Enemy cruiser sunk. Cleveland. Not repairing. Very important here. The ship is on fire. And now we rep with the smoke. Smoke generator started. You destroyed an enemy cruiser. Problem solved. Oh, sir. the Cleveland got a shot. GK got a shot. Does he kill me? Very close to death. All right. Sketchy stuff. <laughs> We're alive. Barely 160k. We're not bad at stop and pushes, guys. That is what we do. 
in this ship. We have defensive fire as a consumable. Are we going to land torps? No way we land those torps yet, too. That's insane. Uh, I'm not going to shoot. Because they could just blind fire kill me here. You know what? I'm actually going to use this. I want my torps right now. I know they were almost up. But I really want these now. Okay, we get our heal, we're good. Um, and we're just gonna give up ground, right? That's all we're gonna do here. We don't wanna take fights, put these islands between us and these battleships here, and uh, we should be all right. We got plenty of healing left, we just gotta stay alive for a little bit. All right, oh, I, I thought I clicked on that side. May as well start shooting at this druid. Who knows? Might get a little something in. Oh, the fire right away. That hurts. The ship is on fire. You go dark though. Fine. All right, low HP again. Too low for comfort, probably. Probably go down. Let's. Maybe he doesn't uh, kill us? Kinda sick. Nah, he gets us. Alright. A little too greedy there at the end, but I think we did a pretty solid job of stalling that push. Considering we were basically alone, right? Our DD was pretty low health, couldn't open up. Our battleships died early. It was really. What, a Colbert, a Minnesota, one of the new um, Japanese cruisers, a Druid, a Kerr first, all on that flank. And we lived that long and did that much damage to them. That was that was great, honestly. That That's what the power of the Jinan is, and that's why you don't really push into it ever. Uh, that's kind of been my experience when I first got the ship, was nobody pushed into it. And maybe people are kind of forgetting what this ship does now that it's been out for a little while, so that's kind of nice. All right, unfortunately not a win on that one if I had played a little different, a little more passive there at the end. I think I could have made a difference and maybe won that game um, since, you know, their two battleships did so well. Maybe I farm them out instead of uh, having them live and go on to carry their team. Anyways, uh, still a good result here with the GNAN, honestly. Very, very happy with that. Um, yeah, you see, we're pretty fragile. As soon as we're getting shot at, very, very fragile. But the damage output is pretty nice. The build that I'm running uh, is very damage output focused here. We're taking heavy HE, adrenaline rush, reload the torps faster, better uh, fire chance here, faster torps even. I'm not taking the damage upgrade since the torps already do insane amounts of damage. I'd rather buff my guns, which are more consistent form of damage, right? We do want to hit those torps, but we're not really guaranteed them, uh, and they don't reload terribly quickly. So I really want to buff whatever my consistent damage is, and then have the torps hit when they hit, and just be happy with that bonus damage. Concealment, of course, Superintendent, very nice in a ship that has so many consumables, right? Survivability Expert is also great here. Even then, we still only have 35,000 HP. Uh, it's very, very squishy, this ship, but it can pump the damage, like I said. Uh, here's the upgrades. Again, main guns, main guns. We could go a full torp build, and it might work. I'm not going to say it won't. It'll just be less consistent, and the torps already do pretty well, even if you don't build for them, since you do have that torpedo reload booster. It's pretty nice. Uh, but let's hop into another one, see if we can't get uh, a different map, maybe, considering we were on the same map both these games. I'm um, counting the one that I showed on Monday, I believe, um, with the GNAN in Arms Race. Love to see something different. Um, super ships is going to be hard. <laughs> Alrighty, that'll be difficult. So maybe you get to see then what happens 
uh, against very long range ships. This is kind of the weakness of this whole whole line, really. People don't push in to you, you're not gonna get damage. And since you're squishy, you can't really push in yourself. So we'll see how this goes. Double Schlieffen means they could push, who knows? Um, it makes me nervous about pushing this sea island. You can, you often see people do this in this uh, map here on this fight. People push up to this island here and then try and hold it or whatever. And we do have the torpedo power to hold it. We would just need, you know, we would need this Hayate to, to really spot for us would be the ideal play here. Uh, and we don't have a ton of support since there's only a GK over here. We got a bit of an asymmetrical spawn, which sucks. Not even any divs on our team. We're just a weird spawn. I thought they were fixing that. I thought they were gonna... Maybe maybe some of these spawns get through the cracks or something like that. But that is one of the issues. So we have to keep in mind that we're weak. We're the weak flank by a lot. So that's gonna be maybe a good reason to not actually push up to this island. Since we're gonna want a getaway. Or we just full commit and then when people YOLO around for us, we... Uh, make a final stand and go out a hero or something like that. <laughs> uh, with the Hayate flanking, I think I think I can make a reasonably aggressive play. We'll see. Condi over here. That's scary. <laughs> um, we have a Klauswitz Thunderer coming. Okay. They'll be a little late, but maybe. Maybe we can do something with this. Not gonna shoot. I wanna get across this next gap yet. They have a Hanover. Yamato is their long range accurate ship on the other flank. Schlieffen spawned here. They're not in a div, okay. Sometimes you can tell where people are going and what they're gonna do by where they spawn as a div. We're spotted here. I'm guessing it's from here. Yeah, since we just got located as well, so it's up here somewhere. Or, okay, yeah. Definitely need to help on this. Wow, we hit actually a lot of shells there. That's nice. Um, can't shoot for a little bit here. Ayate hopefully gets out. All right. Delete a little more. He's got his speed boost up. The timing on that was just a little bit unfortunate. I uh, I had to get right up to this rock. So our Hayate lost more HP than he should have if I was able to support him a little bit better. Um, I think we're gonna leave actually. I'll try to. We'll try. Because Schlieffen pushing is just so scary. Ideally, I spot the Vincent here. Or for the Schlieffen here. Now we use our booster. This is a great spot to use a booster. You know, we don't know if they're gonna, I mean, they're probably gonna run here, but uh, hey, we'll put torps there too. Look at all the torps, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how many torps you can pump out. Alrighty, Schlieffen is there. Let's smoke up and farm him a bit. Smoke generator started. He might be too quick for these, we'll see. Slow down and turn in. That's what the second set is for. Okay. Let's see what we can do. And they're deep waters too. He's probably got hydro, let's be honest. Schlieffen pushing that aggressive should have a hydro available. And we have a gap. Too bad. Hey, at least we'll we'll get some good damage in here. Notice the guys in the north here are pushing back in a little bit. Maybe for my second set of torps. We do land one on the Schlieffen. I don't know why people are pushing right now. I'll, I'll allow it. Guys, I'll allow it. This has not been my experience with this ship. 
Yeah. Yeah, I actually hit the Vincent. Crazy. Got another Torp tube from the Schlieffen. Another fire. All right, he's down. He probably Torped at us, though. All right, like, wouldn't be surprising. A guy sitting in smoke farming him. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty likely torpedo target. Um, Hanover mid. These guys are pushing back mid. So I think we'll want to stay here towards these sea islands. Maybe we can get enough range to hit this Hanover. Close game too, honestly. Last game was very close. I like this. When we're not getting these blowouts, man, World of Warships is so much more fun. It really is. All our torps are back, so... 20 seconds till a smoke. Uh, what DDs do they have? Yamagiri Summers. Summers could be out here. Summers could be in our spawn? No, he's in B, maybe. Okay, he is in B. Alright, let's send our torps for this guy. And then start farming him. up so we don't uh, stay spotted. I was hoping this island would cover me. Obviously it's uh, not going to here. And notice I'm not like focused on like shooting both sides of my torps off right now. Uh, that's a bait that I kind of got trapped in. Also I only have one puff of smoke. Pretty easy to blind fire me. Uh, it's something I got trapped in when I first started playing this line is oh I'll switch sides and I'll turn around and then use my booster and it takes too much time. Uh, it takes way too much time. So, not really, uh, I'm interested in using the torps, but not, like, only focusing on them. Because guns, over time, can do pretty good work as well. Okay, is that a blind shot? Not sure. Yeah, it looks like it was blind shots. Interesting. Let's, uh, be careful that there's a Summers right here. Maybe try and shoot him a little bit. Always want to keep an eye out for those uh, DDs that can be a big problem. Now I think I'll get a little greedy for Torps. Possibly too greedy. Let's see. But we know that there's a Hanover coming, right? We Everyone knows it. <laughs> and then one nice thing too about uh, deep waters here is that I don't care that my DD is in front of me. Um, I can just launch the torps and it'll just pass right under. Okay, Hanover is turning around right now, so not a huge deal. Worried about that Vincent a little bit, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. But it's unlikely he gets around here, because we got a GK so wide right now. I still hit this up here. nice. Bad arcs coming in handy. We are kind of danger in danger of losing this game. Right, he's out of range now. I need to be around my Hayate to support him against the DDs. Vincent shouldn't spot me. Their enemy g is there. All right. Oh boy, how do we play this? Nice, they got the Hanover, that's really good. Torpedoes, direct front. There. Okay, 
Okay. Bit of, bit of chip damage in on the DD. I've sent those torps for that. Uh, Goodness, please. Yeah. Enemy destroyer sunk. Ow, that hurts. Not sure why this uh, summer's opened up, honestly. Blaze dispersion. Don't screw me. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, we did get him at least. Yeah, he's blind firing us. Spooky. <laughs> Wait, our guys that have been like camping the 910 aren't there anymore. It's bad. All right, we'll send that there. Smoke screen set. And I think run a little bit. A little bit of running. Yeah, those torps might be okay. Uh, a little bit of running uh, would be probably good here. I played too aggressive late game last match. I'd like to win this one, ideally. Our torps are almost up again. You know he's gonna be kind of charging for this corner, right? So just kind of put him on that angle. We have a booster available if we, you know, suddenly need to deal with him in a more aggressive way. I hope our Klauswitz doesn't just sit broadside to the Vincent and get dev struck. Twenty seconds for our heal. I'm moving back over to B cap um, since that's probably where the enemy team is going to apply a pressure if they are going to. The Vincent's all on all on his own. He'll be caught in a crossfire, so I kind of want to be here to support a bit. Wow, he is pushing. Wild. Uh, sir. He doesn't see these yet, by the way. That's kind of the power of deep waters. You'll see him like now ish? Oh my god. Alright. Take three hits there. Sure. 200k? Why? Good. Is G9 good, guys? Or am I just like popping off and getting good matchmaker and people are pushing into me? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Jerry's out. Had good games in it though recently. I'm kind of surprised. I'll certainly admit people are pushing in way more aggressive than I would have thought they would have. So, that's something at least. Although maybe I'm picking good positions, right? Maybe. A uh, little cleanup work here and we should get a good win. You see, like, five torp hits, you know, it pads out the damage, but you still get good damage out of the main guns. A bit of both. That's where I don't want to go, like, a full, you know, a full uh, torp build, right? And there they go. So, um, Jinan is going to be a very difficult grind, though. So if you see this and want it, uh, keep in mind the Tier 7 is just a worse Atlanta. The Tier 8 is worse. I think the DPM goes down, but you get a little better shell arcs. Uh, the Tier 9... The Tier 9 was okay, if I remember right. Nothing too special, either. So, maybe the tier 10 is the highlight of the line, and even then, you, you need people to push in. Like, I, I can't stress that enough. Like, like if you're, if you're someone who's not seeing a lot of people push in all the time, it's not going to go very well for you. Right, like a Schlieffen YOLO'd in, uh, Vincent came in and ate the Torps, like, a lot of things happen in this game. Oh, okay, he's dead. 
a lot of things happen this game, last game too. And of course, arms race, it's really good in because people are kind of forced to push in. Um, yeah, these are definitely like the, my three best Jinan games. <laughs> uh, certainly not what I was expecting when I went into this one for, for a one take, but hey, we'll take it. Uh, we'll take it. Sometimes they go that well. Sometimes they, things just work out. Here's the armor belt that I was talking about, this kind of upper 32 millimeter plate that can help you against battleships close range. Uh, but you, big citadel, not a lot of HP. You're gonna take damage if you get hit. So you gotta play sneaky, almost like a big DD, I guess you can think of it as, considering the number of torpedoes it has. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.